Hello, welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today we have the problem negative 2 t plus 6 plus 8 3 t minus 1 equals to negative 2 minus t. So if we want to solve for t. In order to solve for t, we have to open up the parentheses. And in order to open up the parentheses, we have to multiply negative 2 by the components within these parentheses. And the same could be applied for this one and this one. So let's start with the first one. Negative 2 times t will just give us negative 2t. Negative 2 times positive 6 will then just give us negative 12. Positive 8 times 3t will give us positive 24t. Positive 8 times negative 1 will give us negative 8. After this, we then have to open up the parentheses for this side. Let's pretend here there is an imaginary 1. So now what we have to do is negative 1 times 2, which will then just give us negative 2. Then we have to multiply this imaginary 1, negative 1, times negative t, which will give us positive t. So now we have opened up the parentheses, and we are able to basically simplify this down even further. So in order to do that, we need to combine like terms. So one like term is negative 2t. Another like term would be positive 24t. So let's start with these two first. Negative 2t plus 24t. That would give us 22t. Then we can bring these numbers down. Minus 12 minus 8 is equal to negative 2 plus t. From here, we have to combine now these like terms. So then we have negative 12 minus 8, which is then just 22t minus 20, is equal to negative 2 plus t. From here now, we want to get t by itself, but we can still combine these two. So what we do to one side, we must do to the other. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0, so it cancels out. Negative 20 plus 2 would just be negative 18. Now we have t by itself, but we have one t here. So what we can do is we can subtract 22t and move it over to this side. Because remember, what we do to one side, it has to be done to the other. So minus 22t is equal to minus 22t. So what this is basically saying is 1, remember like what we did in the first step, we could just apply an imaginary 1. So 1t minus 22 is then just negative 21. So let me just write this over here. So then we could have negative 18 is equal to negative 21 t. So now we're really close to getting t by itself. But in order to get t by itself, we see that negative 21 is being multiplied by t. So what we do to one side, it has to be done to the other. So we divide by negative 21 on both sides to get t by itself. This just gives us 1. So remember, this imaginary 1 could just stay here, and that just becomes t. So then we would just have negative 18 over negative 21 is equal to t. However, this then becomes a positive, because a negative and a negative is a positive. So it would be 18 over 21 is equal to t. 
But we can still simplify this because 3 goes into both numbers. So if we divide it by 3, our final answer can be 6 over 7 is equal to t. And it can no longer be further simplified.